Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable Vice President of the Republic of Zimbabwe uh, in absentia, Dr. General Retired CGDN Chiwenga. I will write on the protocols already established, but I will want to make a mention of uh, two Honorable Ministers that presented the Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Development and Investment Promotion, uh, Professor Ngube, who educated us uh, quite seriously on climate change and the opportunities that prevail. Thank you for that. That was much in enjoyable. But can I also mention the uh, Minister of Higher and Teacher Education, the Honorable Professor Mruira. Um, the issue with him is he gave a very passionate and educative presentation, but my fear was there was going to be a test at the end. Thank God there wasn't. For the second year running, Simas Health Group is honored to be a partner of this eminent ZITF International Business Conference. And I want to take this time to really congratulate the organizers, ZITF and NECF, for putting up such an impressive and very appropriate event. I find the theme of the 2024 ZITF quite uh, inspiring. Innovation, the catalyst to industrialization and trade. And as a private healthcare player, we do not underestimate the responsibility we have in contributing to innovations that can take uh, the country forward. I'm excited to advise that this year, as Simas Health Group, we are launching a genomic sequencing service. This will enable us to identify individuals who could potentially be at risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. Our sequencer will also be able to do wellness and pharmacogenetic testing. In the end, and we hope in the near future, it will help in the development of precision medicine, thereby contributing to the goal of improving health outcomes in the treatment of conditions, in particular such as um, uh, cancer. Can I take a few minutes? I know it's, uh, you need to go for your lunch and, 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 and complete the program, but I'll take a few minutes to share with you our wish list for our industry, which are, is consistent with this great uh, theme. The Honorable Vice President took a lot of time in his presentation, made reference to the NDC, NDS uh, one blueprint. So firstly, I really must say that the government of Zimbabwe initiated bold strategies through that uh, NDS one blueprint. And those strategies are aimed at disrupting the status quo. However, the success of, that blue, of this blueprint falls squarely on us, the private sector, working together with the government. We find the pharmaceutical value chain strategies more, most exciting. As Simas Health Group, we are intent on maximizing on the whole healthcare value chain. However, today I'll just zero in on the, healthcare, on the pharmaceutical value chain. We have seen an increase in locally manufactured medical consumables and pharmaceuticals. However, we are cognizant that as a country, we are still lacking in meeting the NDS-1 expectations. The, message, the, the issue is that we therefore must increase our efforts as the country still has a high volume of pharmaceutical imports. But is it not time we mobilized more funding to capacitate local manufacturers. Is it not an opportune time for a health investment fund whose success will be underpinned by sustainable support given to manufacturers by us, the private sector, and the public sector? I know the Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Development and Investment Pre Promotion, uh, Prof. Nube, is probably saying, is that another baking ball to say, can I put money into this fund? I don't think it is. Because if we, if we as the public sector, the private sector and the uh, public sector underwrite 
a project of take product of take from these manufacturers i don't i believe there will be a wide array of funders willing to put money into a local pharmaceutical manufacturing so it is important that uh, as particularly the public sector we establish that confidence that manufacturers need to set up these plants and that funders need to 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 put money into this hence uh, my call for a health investment investment fund. I know there's a lot of emphasis on, on mining, there's a lot of emphasis on the other sectors, but my cry is for the healthcare sector, particularly the healthcare inv health investment fund. On another note, supporting Nat Farm, uh, we believe will assist in improving medicines availability and pricing. So it's all about us putting our heads together putting resources into the infrastructure that we already have in the country to increase local content. If I can move on to something else, in t this year, in addition to our exhibition pavilion, where we have eye screening, mental health assessments, BMI, BP, diabetes screening, and prostate screening tests, we've also brought our brand new mobile clinic we were hoping to do some dental checks and dental cleaning. I'm inviting delegates to invite, visit our pavilion and our mobile clinic. Finally, uh, on something I'm very excited about, I am delighted to advise that in partnership with the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, this year we have once again invited 80 children from rural schools to come and experience the ZIT for the first time. We trust that, we really trust and believe that this experience will have some impact in their lives and will motivate them to pursue careers in industry and commerce. So education 5.0 and the issues that the Honorable Minister of Higher and Tertiary Education, we've got to build it from the base. And I think the Honorable Vice President talked to that as well moving education 5.0 to the kindergarten kids. But exposure is also a big part of that. I happen to have grown up in this part of the country, and I know what exposure to the ZITF did for my life. You know, a lot of memories created in commerce uh, 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 industry and exposure through exposure to this fair. So the children are drawn from National and West and Matavilla and South provinces. 40 children from Greenfields Primary School and Kosana Primary School in the Makonde District. And the other 40 are from Fulunye Primary School and Sababa Primary School in Incisa District. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.